Skiing is popular, and like all extreme sports, safety gear is vital. The skier that does this will not only be laughed at by his mates, but will also need some really good protection for his eyes. Every year, one and a half million Britons go skiing, so there's a lot of people who need goggles, and getting the right look is important. Now, most people's heads are roughly the same size, so the designer makes up an average size template from polystyrene. Using this basic shape, he creates the space where the lenses would sit. Using a wax strip to shape the lens gap, he adds layers of putty to build up the rest of the model. He has to work quickly though, because the putty dries fast. When it's dried, the wax is removed, leaving a frame for the lenses in the model. The designer can now sand down the dried putty to realize the final style he's looking for. The designer also uses state-of-the-art technology to map out the goggles. This will help him make any last-minute adjustments to improve the look or the performance. It's also useful for the next stage of the production process, the molding casts. Goggle frames are made using a process called injection molding. Inside each block there is a hollow space the same shape as the new goggle design. Molten plastic is forced in, and when it cools it will solidify into a new pair of goggles. Workers load this machine with granulated plastic, which is superheated to 180 degrees Celsius. It's now ready to be injected into the cast. The machine is heated, which keeps the plastic liquid. The designer only wants it to solidify once it's in the mold. Once it's in place, cold water will be pumped in, which rapidly cools and hardens the plastic. A new pair of goggle frames can then be pulled out. With fashion on the slopes a high priority, the designer has to get the color scheme just right. So it's time for the frames to get a fresh coat of paint. Each set is airbrushed by hand using a micro-fine lacquer. The frames are then sent to the oven to dry. A six-minute journey seals the paint into place. The next stage is the lenses. Modern goggles are made out of a combination of several layers treated with different chemicals. The inner layer is cut from a sheet of tinted plastic. The color helps the human eye to recognize contours and edges. The outer lens, meanwhile, is treated with an anti-fogging agent. The combination of body heat and cold outdoor temperatures mean lens fogging is a big problem for skiers. Without this treatment, a hard session in the cold would cause the lenses to fog up completely and you wouldn't be able to see a thing. So, skiers get hot, but they also want to look cool. If you're wearing a large pair of goggles, you can't wear shades. And as it's often sunny when you ski, that's a problem. So the goggles are sprayed with several layers of silicon and chrome, which reflects the sun and protects the eyes. It also looks pretty cool. Now that all the chemical layers have been added to the lens, a precision cutter can shape it to fit perfectly into the frames. Remember the coloured layer from earlier? Well, whilst the lens was being treated and cut, the coloured layer was being bent so it would match. Five minutes at 60 degrees in this machine is just right. So, now we've got all the bits that we need, all that's left is to put them together. To combine the lenses, a foam layer is stuck between the outer layer and the tinted inner layer. This creates a thermal effect similar to double glazing in a home. The next stage is to make them look good. Any shiny bits or add-ons are stuck on here, as well as the straps so they'll stay on your head. The lens is finally put into the waiting frames. All the hard work from design to construction has come together and what's left is the latest ski goggles ready for the slopes. Almost. They're well made and they look good, but there are a few tests to be run first. Whether in your pocket or during a crash, the lens has to resist scratching. 
And because they've been made with the toughest materials possible, they can even resist a heavy-duty scouring pad. In the event of a serious accident, the goggles must be able to withstand a heavy impact. Steel ball bearings are fired at up to 160 kilometers per hour. If the lens breaks, the goggles fail. And where do you use goggles? In the freezing cold conditions you'd find on a mountain. So they're stuck in a freezer at minus 20 degrees Celsius for at least two hours. Whether you're a bunny slope beginner or an off-piste animal, these goggles will protect you come snow or shine.